What's up guys? Hope you're doing amazing. My name's Alexandra. Hope you're doing all right in these uncertain times. But today, today, I'm talking about creating. Just create. I'm talking about taking the ideas that you might have and then they're just, just putting them out in the world. So there's probably some things that other creators like me, like you, can resonate with, which is that sometimes you just don't know what you want to create. Or sometimes you know what you want to create, but you've got so many ideas all around the place that you don't know what you want to focus on. I have a long list of so many ideas. I've looked ideas in here. My phone is full of ideas. There's so many ideas. There's just so much stuff that is just like overwhelmed and come from so many different angles that you just don't know what to put out there. Last Sunday, I released a video about how to stay motivated in, the, in, the, in these times with everything going on. And I was like, I made it. I was like, I was quite enthusiastic when I was making it. But then when I, when I edited it and when I finished watching it, I was like, I didn't really didn't really like it that much. I was like, yeah, I know what I was getting across, but I was like, I don't feel like I would really show the enthusiasm that I really wanted to show across. But I was like, screw it, I'll just put it out there anyway. I can't remember where I heard it from, but it was like, if you have a piece of content, just chuck it out there. Cause that might be the one that clicks with everyone. You just don't know. And so on the channel now, I think there's gonna be a bit of change of the things that I'm gonna be putting out. Really wanna just test to see what kind of stuff I like putting out. Like in the early days, I learned a lot about filmmaking and photography, but I was like, I knew I wasn't that good then. So I was like, okay, instead of me trying to learn filmmaking by teaching about filmmaking, it just doesn't, it just doesn't, it doesn't work, it doesn't go hand in hand. Cause I wanna learn filmmaking, teaching about filmmaking doesn't make sense because I'm making videos about trying to learn something at the same time. And if I kind of show you while I'm learning, so that's kind of something I'm thinking about is like, oh, if I'm learning something about sound design, I can sit down and show you how I learned it. Yesterday I edited a video about uh, a cupcake video and I done a lot of sound design. I really spent a lot of time looking at different effects, matching them. Like one thing was like, it was this tray being placed down and I used the sound effect of uh, an aftershave being placed on a table from Epidemic Sound. Let's watch it. And it was like really just thinking how things can match and just really enjoying the filmmaking process. So I don't really know exactly what I want to put out there, but really it's just at the moment, it's just, just doing whatever comes to mind. This video is brought to you by no one. No, not no one, no one, no one. No, there's not something called no one. There's no one sponsoring it. You know what I mean. Hey, what are you doing? One thing that I always go back to is that the reason I created this channel is because I love making videos at the end of the day. Like if we go back to um, 2017, when I, really, when I started this channel, if you were around when I made this channel, probably not a lot. I don't think I had like over a hundred subscribers then. So if you are, that's awesome. But yeah, there's been quite a bit of change here and there'll probably more, be more change in the future. I think it's about me documenting my process and showing you how things happen. I think I've done that in a sense by you seeing the transition of, the, of my content if you look down from like my older videos. And I think that can happen in a more direct sense or just happens naturally. If you continue creating, if you keep making videos and keep putting your stuff out there, you'll get on the path of like finding your direction. Something that I come back to is by Tyler Babin. He said, sit in a room thinking about it will not help you. You just have to make something at the end of the day. Cause like, if you keep thinking about it, you're gonna get in a massive spiral. You're not gonna output anything. If you're a creator, you have to just keep creating. There's nothing better you can do than going through the motions and creating something at the end of the day. Really, whatever you wanna do, you should just put it out there. If you like talking about anything, if you like talking about magic or playing cards or 
anything just put just put it out there so many different things you can do it's just really up to your imagination i wouldn't say that i have this stuff figured out as you know i've made so many videos about that but just be yourself and just do your thing and be somewhat tactical in the sense because you need to take things into account so like the title and the thumbnail of a video and the description and stuff like that that's like a different whole story of it but you need to be smart with it but also just do what you want to do at the end of the day Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, follow us on Instagram, all of that stuff. Let me know what kind of stuff you want to see in this time where I'll be lots of time at home. You want to see more tutorials like I did in the past. You want to see more seven proven experiments. Whatever you want to see, please some comments down below. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Coffee on a Monday morning. Um. Yeah. I don't know where the basketball went for that thing, but I have a squash ball here. I'll get that in. Comment down below. You got five seconds. What might will I get in? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh no. Oh no, I lost it. Found it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.